Hey, what's going on guys? All right, uh, I got one last update. It'll probably be my last one for the day. And then tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and give you just a, a day one of free agency in the tampering period recap. I'm gonna kind of let you know what I think the uh, winners and losers of the NFL are, players and teams, um, and just kind of give you a brief summary of everything that I took away from day one of this uh, tampering period and going into the rest of free agency here. So uh, last update that I've got for you guys is a bit of a bigger one. Uh, Marcus Mariota has agreed to terms to go to the uh, Las Vegas Raiders now. It's gonna be so weird not saying Oakland. It's gonna be an adjustment, I'll tell you what. That and the Chargers. Uh, that's going to take so much adjusting. So going Las Vegas Raiders for Marcus Mariota. Uh, I wasn't able to find anything on the uh, terms, like what, what the contract would look like. But that's what we're looking at is Marcus Mariota signing with the, oh, uh, God, I almost said it again, Oakland Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders. This is a really interesting one to me because there have been a lot of question marks about Derek Carr, whether the Raiders would try to keep him around. John Gruden came out and said Derek Carr is his guy. He wants to keep him long term and really build around him, give him a shot to win. Um, but you know what? Uh, bringing Marcus Mariota in is definitely a, kind of a big question mark for me. I don't necessarily think Marcus Mariota is just a bench player. I think he brings a little bit more to the table. Now, I think he's on the very lowest tier of starting quarterbacks, but I also think he's on the very highest tier of bench quarterbacks, of backups. So it's curious to me what the Raiders plan on doing with Marcus Mariota in their system. You know, are they going to use him as kind of like a third down, do it all kind of guy, line him up at you know, receiver or kind of give him like a Taysom Hill role. I really don't know. I mean, Marcus Mariota is an athletic guy, but I don't think he's that guy at the same time. I definitely think he's more of, you know, a quarterback than Taysom Hill. So uh, Marcus Mariota going to the Oakland Raiders is really, really interesting. I think you got to keep your eye on what the Raiders are going to do with Derek Carr. And if they wind up moving on from Derek Carr uh, in exchange for a cheaper contract in Marcus Mariota, um, what is Derek Carr going to do then? You know, where is he going to go? Where would the, the Raiders trade him to? Or, you know, what would he decide to do? So um, keep your eyes on all of that. Hit the bell so you know when I'm putting out more videos. I'll definitely be keeping you guys updated. If anything big goes on tonight, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I think this will be it for tonight. And then, like I said, I'll give you kind of a recap and just review everything that happened today. I'll do that tomorrow, probably midday, right around the afternoon time. So um, keep your eyes and ears open, guys. Hit that bell. Subscribe, like, um, definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think about moves like this. Whether you think they're going to be beneficial to the Raiders, Marcus Mariota, you know, if you think he's going to be an impact player or if you think he's just kind of kind of be like a solid bench guy, uh, a nice backup to have just in case Derek Carr gets hurt or something like that. So uh, let me know what you think down below, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, like I said earlier, subscribe, help this channel grow, um, like, comment, do whatever you got to do, and uh, we'll talk about everything that you guys got. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a good one. And as always, guys, fins up.